Hola mi gente, thank you so much for being here. My name is Mariluz and in this video I'm going to show you how to recreate this look that you see right here using the Too Faced Just Peachy Mask Eyeshadow Palette. This palette, I did mention it on my eyeshadow collection in the previous video and this is the look I was wearing so I'm going to recreate that for you. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Okay you guys, so I already did my brows. I did my brows off camera but if you're interested in how I do that, I will link that video in the description box below or up in the cards right here. I have a dedicated video in case you're curious. But now to start off with the eye look, the first thing that I would recommend is to prime your eyes. Now we do prime our eyes or our eyelids because we want to prime or conceal whatever the hell is going on on our eyelids, you know, like sometimes we have veins or anything like that and the eyeshadow will just blend a lot better it will give it more vibrance like the color payoff will be a lot better there's a lot of primers out there you guys and i know it's kind of hard to decide which one to use but i believe that with a thick concealer you know the same one that you use to carve your eyebrows highlight your face you can use that concealer to prime your eyes as long as you trust it and you know it's not going to crease during the day now i'm going to be really honest i love 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 the tarte shape tape concealer because of the thick consistency but if you are a little worried you know you're gonna have a long day 12 hours plus i highly recommend the mac paint pot and soft ochre because it will not crease on you so now i'm gonna take a brush and i'm going to apply that right all over my lid and i'm running out of this i need to buy more and you gotta make sure that you don't have like any lines you see right now i have lines but i can keep blending that with the brush or even with my finger now i'm going to set this with a translucent powder i like to use the rca mineral color powder but you can use any translucent powder that you trust and just tap that right there i do like to set it um, because it makes the eyeshadows blend a lot easier especially if you are a beginner and you're just trying to like learn how to do your eyes just makes these shadows like slide and not stick to the concealer okay so now that our eyes are completely set they're primed they're set they're ready to go i'm going to start with the eyeshadows and for the eyeshadows i'm going to start with the shade peach tea on a sigma e40 so i'm going to take that shade and i'm going to apply it right on the crease but just a tiny bit above and i'm doing this because i want the color to be really blown away like all over the eye i'm not being too precise with it i want this transition shade higher because i'm going to start building a little bit on the color and the lower I go, the more I take the risk of covering with the concealer when I'm doing the half cut crease. So that's why I'm keeping it high. So it might look crazy at the beginning, it might look like weird, but once you cut the crease, it'll look better. Okay, so now I'm going to move on and I'm going to use the shade Peach Cobbler. I'm going to use the same brush because I still want that to be really well blended and like not too precise. Let's start in this side and then bring it all the way in and all the way out so now that i have everything well blended i'm going to move on with the shade peach punch and i'm also going to change the brush this one is the sigma a25 i'm going to take that color and i'm going to apply it right like on the crease obviously a little lower than the previous two colors but enough high that it won't cover it with the concealer once i have once I cut the crease. All right, so now on to the fun part, we are going to cut the crease. For that, I'm gonna use the Sigma E46. It's a small brush. I prefer to have a bigger one because it covers more ground, um, but this one's nice because it has a point to it and it makes my life a lot easier. It helps me with the, um, like the really sharp line above my crease, like on my crease. So I'm going to use the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer for that to cut the crease and I'm going to apply just a tiny bit because this concealer a little goes a long way. And I'm going to just like apply a line, a really thin line right here, like really lower on my lid. And I'm going to stop halfway and then I'm going to open my eye and I'm going to tilt my head down and that gives me like dotted lines if you will and it'll help me to cut the crease easily it will give me like a, a really nice guide now if you have problem with pulse like I have a mess right now obviously but um, if you have problems with pulse putting your elbows like on a table will help you with that And just do like a semi-circle. Stop like right there. And 
and then fill all of this in. I'm like swiping but at the same time tapping because I want it to blend at the same time. Okay, so now we're going to set that in. I'm going to take the shade Peach Meringue, this white shade, and I'm going to take a swiper, like a sweeper brush. This is the, what is it? The Sigma, oh, if I can find it, the Sigma E55. And I'm going to like set that up. You could probably use translucent powder, any other color that you want to. Um, but I want to keep it as true as possible, like when I cut the concealer. So I'm just going to set it with this color. And once I set all that up, I'm going to build my outer V right here. For the outer V, I'm going to take this beautiful plum um, color. It's called Peach Sangria. And I'm going to apply that like on my outer corner here. And just imagine your eye like in thirds. So I'm going to apply this color like on the last third of my eye. And I'm using the Sigma E25. I forgot to mention, I am using the Sigma E25 as well because it keeps it precise, but it blends the outer edges easily. Okay, so now that I've built that color in my outer V, I'm going to blend this concealer and that color, the Peach Sangria color. I really want to blend, like I really want to build a nice transition between this color and the Peach Sangria. So for that, I'm going to take Peach Punch and I'm going to like sandwich it between them two. But I wanna go two in because I love this uh, like white part. Now when you're building a transition between lighter and the more darker, you have to play with all the colors. So I'm going to take Peach Sangria back and just try to blend it in the edges and then take Peach Punch and try to blend it in the edges. But I'm also going to combine another color so it won't stop here. Okay guys, so I'm so sorry my camera stopped recording without me noticing. Um, but I just applied uh, chocolate dipped on this outer side right here. And I used the Sigma E45. It's like a tapered blending brush. I love this brush because it is fluffy. Um, it is pointy. So it starts blending the darker color as soon as I apply it, like as soon as I place it. So what I did is I started applying this color right on the outer edge right here to intensify the color and give it more like a dimension to it. And then I started playing with all the colors that I've used so far. So that is just peachy, peach punch, peach sangria, and chocolate dipped. And I've just tried to build like a you know, nice transition between all the colors from lighter to really dark. So I do apologize. I hope this is enough guidance for you. But if you have any questions on how to apply this or what I use, just um, ask me questions in the comment section below and I will answer them for you. So now I'm going to finish up this side and I'll be back to finish up the look. Another tip that I forgot to mention because it was cut off on the video and then I remembered is uh, to always clean your brushes. You know, sometimes we don't have uh, a lot of brushes to deal with and we have to use the same brush for like different colors um, so make sure that you clean that brush before you go move on to the next color because that will help you with a cleaner transition um, right now I'm using this this uh, color pop color for just peachy and peach punch to like build this transition right here um, so I make sure that I clean that. I do have a Sephora color switch for that. But before I even bought that, I would just use a paper towel and make sure that I swirl my brush as you know gently, but to make sure that all the color is out of the brush before I move on to the next one. And I think that's it. I'm almost done with this uh, <laughs> high look, by the way. So I'll come back for the lower lash line. Okay, guys. So I'm not going to hide it. But I had to redo my whole foundation again. Because when I was blending my uh, concealer, it didn't work out too well. It was too dry for me to start blending. But I'm doing this because I do want to show you how to do your concealer when you, are, when you did your eyes first. And I'm going to just place a tiny bit here. Because actually, this type concealer, this tart shape concealer, concealer a little goes a long way so once i place that i'm actually going to use a beauty blender because i have more control with the pointy side of the beauty blender 
Now I'm applying a little more not because I'm almost running out of it. So I'm going to use the beauty blender and I'm going to... You see how I did that like there? Like I just tap the edge of the eyeshadow and just gently blend the, that edge right there. I don't want a, a really precise line because I kind of like want that smoky look. And once I do this, I'm going to set up some translucent powder because I don't want my concealer to crease. If I don't set my under eye um, and I start putting eyeshadows, it's just going to stick to it and it's not going to blend as easily. Um, you can use the beauty blender as well to pick up that, um, the powder and just apply it right here. Again, um, when you do it with a beauty blender, you have more control of that powder. So yeah, now that I've done this, now we're going to work with the lower lash line. So the first color I'm going to use is going to be Peach Punch. So I'm going to apply Peach Punch all over. And I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of connecting this outer V here with the, um, with the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take Just Peachy and I'm going to apply that below. Just like that and then I'm going to connect this uh, darker color with my lower lash line so on the same pencil brush I'm going to take peach sangria first and apply it on the outer edge and to finish up this uh, lower lash line I'm going to take a flat definer brush it's like this type of brush right here and I'm going to take chocolate dipped and apply it in this corner right there and then if you want you can smoke it out with a pencil again just if you want to smoke it out a little bit and that is it for the lower lash line after that you can apply uh, some a little bit of more powder just to pick up all that fallout and then clean it up okay so now with a beauty blender I had to wash it again I'm going to tap all that powder in to make sure it blends in with my foundation and I don't have like a white cast or like a white layer on top now the only thing that this palette doesn't have is a shimmery shadow to highlight the look um, and that's because it's supposed to be all mattes obviously but if you want something shimmery you can uh, use any type of highlighter that you prefer it can be an extra eyeshadow I don't like to use more than one palette because I feel like it just doesn't help you or the viewer at, at all so even though I do want to use a precise color for this eye look I'm just going to use my highlighter I'm going to use the glow kit in the shade um, moonstone right here I'm going to use that color and I'm going to apply it right in the middle this is the color I'm going to use to highlight my face anyway so I decided to just use that one and I'm going to highlight my brow bone and that's mostly it for the eyes you know a little bit of a mascara if you want to put a black eyeliner if you want to put lashes that is up to you all right you guys this is the completed look That is it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this eye makeup look i hope you were able to follow me along if you have any other questions just put it in the comment section below i would be gladly to answer them for you and if you like this look or you were able to accomplish this look based on this video give me a thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you don't miss any of my videos i will see you on my next one bye